Hey everybody, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights, and welcome to my channel. Today I want to do a very quick video on the new perfume from Dior. It's Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet 2023. So here's what the bottle looks like. And it actually looks pretty similar to the old bottle of Blooming Bouquet. I think this one was released in 2014. I guess the biggest difference is the bow tie here. It's like a plasticky silver um, bow tie. And then the bow here is like a silvery kind of um, sparkly one. So they're both Eau de Toilettes. And I have the sample of the new one here. And then, of course, the old one here. Uh, it looks pretty full, yes, but I have decants of this one that I want to finish first before using this one up. Although I have reached for it a little bit. Um, I have like decants of it, so. Anyways, <laughs> Blooming Bouquet Eau de Toilette, the new version. So yeah, this one actually to me is quite similar to the old one. Like when I first tried this in the store, I sprayed a lot on me and I was like, you know what? This is just so, so, so similar. I'm not sure why they made a new version. I, I'm assuming that they reformulated um, the old version, but just based on the scent from the new version, they're not that much different. They might even be the same, I don't know. Uh, with the notes listed for the old one, there's Sicilian Mandarin, Pink Peony, Damask Rose, Apricot Peach, and White Musk. And then with the new version, there's only four notes listed. We have Rose, Peony, Bergamot, and White Musk. So similar notes, but the new version has Bergamot as citrus, and the old version has Sicilian Mandarin. And so when I'm wearing, or when I wore the new version, I had the idea that maybe the citrus just was a little bit more tart. I'm kind of nitpicking though, because the difference wasn't so different from the new version, the old version, sorry. <laughs> also with longevity, I found that both of them just aren't, they don't last very long. They're very light, fresh and airy. Uh, citrusy floral scents, but the scent to me is very very similar and I think it's a nice scent. Uh, mostly I get a, a nice uh, fresh citrusy opening with a lot of peony in the mid. Peony and rose are the most dominant notes, but for sure peony is the number one. And then it dries down into a nice soft floral musky scent so it's not very complicated i like it because it's a simple scent that you can wear every day without thinking too much about it uh, i do love the bottle designs of uh, the collection of miss dior but just based on my first impressions of the new version of uh, blooming bouquet yeah it's just similar maybe too similar I don't think I need to go out and buy this one because just, they're just, yeah. <laughs> As I said, they're so, so similar. They might even be the same. But I haven't heard anything about reformulations about it, but I assume that it has been reformulated. So yeah, that's basically my quick thoughts. My first impressions of Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet 2023. Um, if you've tried the new version, I'd love to hear what you think. Also, what do you think of the old version? Do you think they're the same? Are they similar? I don't know. <laughs> uh, but to me, they're similar, uh, similar enough that I don't really need to have the new version. But of course, that's just my personal opinion. And then I will continue testing this version, uh, the new version, and then maybe my opinions will change or my experiences will change. So thank you so much for tuning in today and I'll see you guys soon in the next one. Take care guys, bye-bye.